Now any questions for the players? Nope, so they didn't have to rush? Oh, we do. <laughs> Clark, could you talk about uh, stuff to stat sheet today? You did a lot of different things pretty well. Let's talk about um, you know, just your focus. What brings you to the what, – what do you have internally that, you, uh, that drives you to contribute in so many ways? Uh, I think it's just I want to help my team. I want to help my team win. I want to help them in every way I can. So I try to do the small things that, you know, will help us win. Growing up in Woodbridge, were you that kind of player? Uh, I was more of a scorer when I was younger. <laughs> now I think I'm a, a defensive guy now. Jason, it was a career high, career high for you. You feel, and also the, the six assists and five rebounds, you feel like it was your most complete game that you played since you've been here? Uh... I would think so. I think so. Jason, you, you, you seem to give so much, you know, in every regard, the way you play. I mean, do you have any concerns about holding up to, to the pounding you, or you put yourself through for the whole season? No, I don't. I think we're going to see a lot of you. Yeah, I think, I think I'll be fine. Uh, I'll take a lot of hits. Yeah. They beat me up in practice, so I think I've gotten used to it. I don't have any concerns about wearing down. No. Nope. You know, there's a, there's a uh, little kid, little number three, Iverson, that retired this yeah, year. Yeah, I never him. He's not. Really and for his whole career, high school through his last program, everyone talked about these two lilies going to wear down. And he hadn't yet. And in that regard, they are similar just in terms of the motor. You know, yeah. you look at him, oh, a little scrawny little kid, but he doesn't get tired. He plays hard as hell, yeah. um, and so he's not going to wear that. Well, did, did, wear that. Yeah. Sorry. did you watch Iverson? Have you watched Iverson a lot? Have you tried to pattern yourself uh, after him? Uh, I never got a chance. Here's a comparison. I mean, just in terms of his motor, in terms of <laughs> not getting worn down, yeah. in terms of the energy that he gives at both ends of the court. I never really got a chance to watch him in college. I watched him in the NBA, and like, he, um, he plays hard. He plays hard the whole game, and I try to. that's the same thing I try to do. Try to give my team everything I have. Any questions for Greg? The coach was talking about uh, the last, say, seven and a half minutes of the first half when you guys started to pull away, and he, he talked about how well they can hit shots, especially from beyond the arc and things of that nature. But what you guys do defensively there? Because his coach said you guys really had to step up and stop that from scoring. Uh, well, we basically, you know, guard the line a little bit harder. Um, he he was stressing that coming into the game, and we kind of wasn't executing it up until that point. So I think us just, you know, you know, being there on the catch instead of running out while, when they're when they're catching the ball it made a big difference, and making them drive was also key. Greg, did you did you guys in any way underestimate their shooting ability from uh, three point or? No, not at no. all. I mean, uh, coach has been stressing it this whole week. Um, they were a very good shooting team, you know. And he he was telling us everybody, you don't know. It wasn't like a couple of players, there's everybody in, in it, and it definitely showed up today. You get six in double figures. I mean, I know it's early, but what you say about balance on this team? I mean, like coach said, I mean, you have a lot of players on the team that can score. Um, it doesn't surprise me that this happened at all. You know, I practice with them every day. I know my teammates are capable of so, uh it's definitely something that we can do on a regular basis, but it's not it's not surprising at all. Let me ask you some question. I asked Jason, I mean you had a really nice you had a really nice stat line. You had a really nice stat line. I mean you feel like this was, you know, perhaps your most complete game since you've been here? Um I would say it's one of my most complete games. I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's the most complete game I've played since I've been here, but I, I definitely think, you know, the they had a lot of openings as far as, you know, being able to get, uh, make passes and so, I mean, that might attest to the assist, but, I mean, I don't know exactly. I'll have to, you know, watch tape or something to figure that out. You're going to watch tape of that great, that great skill and the, the, the dribble you made? Oh, nah. <laughs> I don't even remember that play. <laughs> I know. I didn't make a steal. I think Jason got the steal. He just passed it ahead. I think that's what he's talking about. I don't know. Any other questions? Uh, I know. If, if uh, some of your teammates are in a slump or in a minor slump or whatever, from a leadership perspective, what do you do to help them get out? I mean, it's mostly talk to them. I mean, sooner or later, you know, the, with the skills they have, they're, they're going, the shots are going to fall. You know, everybody has a bad day a couple of times, but just keep on talking to them and just tell them keep on shooting that, that good shot, the good shots, um, and, and they'll eventually fall. That's what I basically say. Fred, you have a reputation of being a, a good passer. 
pass or anything, but you had a, a great game in that respect, especially in the first half. Do you enjoy playing against the zone a little more often to try to find the open man? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little fun, uh, I, I must admit. Uh, you know, it's, it's fun being able to get out there and, and see openings and, and hopefully just waiting for the teammates to get into those open spots so we can make the passes.